afterwards. We'll talk after. Thank you guys for coming. This movie, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, so I want to ask you about the, the background behind this. Uh, it's your first uh, feature yeah. film. Yeah. So I, I was interested, of, of course, about um, the background, how you came up with uh, this romance, this walk and talk film. Uh, yeah, so I I had actually lived in Hong Kong previously for about five years as an expat, so that's why like, I, I know the city really intimately. It wasn't like I just plucked a random city um, out of the blue. Um, so when I was living in Hong Kong, I had really wanted, I've always wanted to make a movie about Hong Kong that's sort of like a love letter to Hong Kong, but from an expat's perspective. Because I know you, know you guys program a lot of movies from Hong Kong, but it's it's told from a totally different perspective. You know, it's a lot of action, it's a lot of, you know, it's it's just different. Like the local films made in Hong Kong, um, and you know, like me living there as an expat, I wanted to sort of paint a portrait of Hong Kong from an expat's perspective. And the love story, you know, like anyone who knows me knows that Before Sunrise, you know, is one of my favorite movies of all time. So I really wanted to make an homage to to that as well, that sort of walk and talk romance, but paying an homage to a particular city. So that's sort of like how it all came about. Tell them the real story. <laughs> <laughs> so while that was percolating, while, I was, while the idea was percolating, I happened to meet an expat in Hong Kong one night. That's the best part of the story. <laughs> um, and then we ended up having a night very similar to Josh and Ruby's, where we met through mutual friends and we went out to see the karaoke until like 6 a.m. in the morning and um, like I thought we were forming a connection but then at the end of the night I find out that he has a girlfriend so that's sort of like how that's like the impetus of this whole sort of project I was like oh so that's what the story is going to be it's going to be like two people forming a connection and then it's the wrong time <laughs> 